Dudes, not a bad way to start the day by any means. Getting out of here, beautiful fall morning in the heat of the rut. And although we don't have a buck, there's been a lot of activity on the property and it has been a hell of an experience. Last two days, watched one big buck chase a whole bunch of doe. Didn't come in close enough to where we could actually execute. We've got loads of doe on the property and this morning I didn't see that buck come in so I decided to take the biggest doe that I could find. First time ever successfully filming my second deer that I've ever harvested and man I'm so happy that I could bring you guys along for that experience hunters out in the audience you know how exhilarating the release and the placement of that shot can be <sighs> man what a great way to start the day first one of the season boys and I had you guys with me first take down here with the Matthews VXR 31 and a half and I got you guys here man this is my first hunt that I've ever filmed <sighs> Man, this thing's smooth, boys. Now, guys, that was just a little added kind of bonus unexpected here in the beginning of the video. In today's upload, we are putting the new wheels and tires on the 2020 Denali. So it's just gonna be an overall great day. If you guys agree with that statement, definitely smash that thumbs up button. You know, while you're down there, subscribe and tap the notification bell. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Man, thank goodness we're throwing new wheels and tires on this thing. Hopefully that thing's holding air because we're gonna have to drive on it here a while. Luckily, the butcher's not all that far away. Do have some precious cargo on board too. Auto, Ozzy, welcome back to the vlog. We going for a ride? Yeah, boys. You gonna turn your heated seat on back here? Timing couldn't be any better with this too because we literally just ran out of meat from our harvest last year. Oh, guys. Uh, been out in the woods probably about half a dozen times this year. Haven't had any real clear shots until this morning. Man, that's a great feeling. I've got another doe tag and I've got my buck tag. The buck that's been walking around this property is rather impressive. Still got that keg, John. I got a as much as I want to tell you guys more details about the big buck that's on the property, I don't want to specify too much because I get a little bit superstitious. Hopefully he can make an appearance here on the vlog in the near future. 37 degrees. I think that's a ripe opportunity to turn our heated stuff on as well. My OGs, no. I love the heated seat and steering wheel. The steering wheel especially because I didn't have it in the OG LML. So now that I have it, I turn it on any chance I can. Alrighty, boys, deers dropped off for processing. It should only be but about a week's time before we got some sausage and some deer sticks wrapped in with some cheddar cheese and some spicy pepper and then we got some sweet italian ones too ah oh, guys you have no idea like i'm just freaking gassed right now Ah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop on a crazy beautiful day here in the beginning of November. The weather seems to make less and less sense. I don't really know what's going on. I guess this is like the last little bit of warm weather before it gets cold for the next six months. I don't really know, but I'm not complaining. The Denali, as we know it, is going to take on a little bit of an aesthetic change. Getting new shoes today. If there's one thing that you guys absolutely need to know about me. It's that I'm always hunting for wheel deals. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about here when we jump into the shop for a minute because we've got a few sets in there as we speak. But the wheels that are going on this truck today are actually extra special because I had had my crosshairs on them for over six months. There's a guy that I was following on Instagram. His name is Austin Creek. I'll put his Instagram right here if you guys want to go check him out. He's got a really nice LML Denali. He's done a lot of tasteful modifications to it. He had these wheels on his truck for a little while. I basically messaged him, I think right after he put them on and said, look, dude, I officially demand first right of refusal if you ever go to sell them. I kind of checked in about six months later and said, yo, you want to send me those wheels yet? And he's like, I don't really want to sell them, but I know you've been asking for a while and sure, why not? So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, here are the wheels that I've been referencing for like the last two weeks. They are sick. How sick are these wheels right here? My God, you have no idea how happy I am to be in possession of these things right now. So we're kind of somewhat turning into like this impromptu wheel warehouse. We actually have another set of those exact same wheels except they're polished. We've got a set of 2214 Nemesis polished concave wheels. They're negative 90 offset. We've got another set, 2414 negative 90 Nemesis SS8s, except these ones will make them very special to me, are brushed with forged center caps. So these are not plastic center caps and that's why they look a little bit different than all the other American Force wheels that have ever run on any of my trucks. Rather than having that star logo, they decided to go a little bit different and actually machine out kind of like a new logo that they offer only and exclusively on the billet center caps. 
Pretty fancy if I do say so myself and very clean. This is my all time favorite wheel ever that American Forces made. And yeah, that's kind of why I've been pigging out on them. Those were an opportunity that kind of popped up to buy them. I liked them, so I figured why not? And then these ones right here. And the Denali has been rolling around on those 355s for quite a while. I wish that I could do a 355 on a 24, but unfortunately, Nitto just doesn't offer that size. So we're bumping up from a 22 back to a 24 and back to the Fury 33, 14 and a half, which I can't say is my all time favorite tire, but it definitely holds a special place in the modification world because it is like the only good looking 33, 14 and a half that's on the market, in my opinion. Mind you guys, we got Jake over here. We figured out the self leveling system. We had to do shorter arms on the Hadley system, which is right here. And now Jake is basically going to get all of our pre-programmed buttons figured out. So we're gonna be able to hit buttons and this thing's gonna be able to go up and down and do pretty much anything we want it to. Towing video to come. I don't wanna wait any longer. Let's marry these two together. I'm so fucking happy I killed a deer today. <laughs> Look at the new look on the Denali. Oh my God. This thing looks absolutely fantastic. Honestly, better than I could have ever even imagined. I generally go into things knowing that the result is going to be something that I'm gonna be very satisfied with. I think we as kind of a collective unit would be very satisfied with, but I'm I'm really actually extreme. Like I'm overly satisfied. Maybe it was like I said expectation, but it was kind of low just in case there's like a little bit of, this time it's completely above that. And I love the way that these things look. Doing that small cinematic sequence before really gave me the perspective of all the different angles and they just look so right like that angle looks fantastic that angle looks fantastic like that angle looks fantastic that's probably my favorite angle right there I don't know dude every single perspective gives just exactly what it was that I was going for we wake up every morning at 5 a.m. and call each other to plan our outfits so what <laughs> it's something to be jealous of let's be real so I'm so happy to see 24 is back on this truck although I do prefer for the Nitto 355. Nitto, seriously, just consider what I'm saying. Make like a 335 24. It would be tremendously popular. It's gonna raise your bottom line. Your profitability is going to skyrocket in the automotive niche, which is the truck community. It's kind of like a trade-off. You can't have your cake and eat it too. In this instance, I wanted to go back to a 24. There are a few tires out on the market that kind of compete with what Fury did with this 3314. But in my opinion, I really just don't like the tread pattern of them all that much. Although like that Venom tire, I think is what it's called. It's kind of growing on me slightly, but I'm still not quite in love with it yet. In my opinion, this truck on either a 24 or a 22 looks fantastic and you can't go wrong either way. We ran the 22s for a very solid amount of months and I loved it. And I was getting the urge to just go back to a 24, which is the setup that we had on the truck before we went to the 22s. And I'm so happy because instead of just going with another negative 73 offset flat faced wheel, we've got a really sick, really unique set of negative 90 offset concave American forces with billet center caps. First truck to ever have billet center caps that I've owned. And I'm very happy with how they look. It's nice to see something a little bit unique in a market that it seems like a lot of people are kind of doing all of the same things. Now, I've never seen a 2020 with brushed wheels on it. I'm sure that they're out there, so I'm not gonna take credit for being the first. And I think now, some of the black now seems a little bit out of place. So the running boards and the side steps white, I think would look just right. Another added bonus from going from that 355 back down to the 33 is that I could actually actually lower the front end of this truck down just about a few cranks on the torsion keys, which is going to 
inherently improve the ride quality of the truck and it's going to get us sitting a little bit more level now to the people that are really really interested in the technicality maybe you say you have a 2020 duramax and you're trying to figure out a wheel and tire setup to go with it still doesn't quite sit level there's about a three quarters of an inch difference between the front and the rear just to get the added clearance that we need i've not put back on the front mud flat only because i really don't want to rip it off it's already paint match we're going to take this thing out here in a minute to see how it does i'm anticipating maybe a little bit of rub on the bumper but i would like to keep it a little bit more decrank as we did take it down a considerable amount now you just got to remember though we have more offset and less tire height but when we go back more tire height and less offset it's kind of a net neutral exchange so guys that being said let's go for its maiden voyage and its new kick completely in love with how that thing looks it looks fantastic i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit on the fence about going with some brush wheels because sometimes i feel like they just uh, they can't top black but oh it's amazing how a fresh set of kicks completely sets off your love and infatuation with your vehicle as if it was completely brand new dude this thing looks so sick yeah i love it it's a brute man it looks so good not a paid promotion by any means just Two dudes loving some wheels. There's just something about the 2020 Denali, like even seeing the taillights, dude, they're massive, huge LEDs, the big old LEDs in the front end, all around, continue to just love this thing. For those of you that are already going to ask me about whether or not I'm selling my 2214s and 355s, the simple answer to that is I am not. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hold on to them because that's kind of what we've been doing with wheels lately. Just don't ask why. We're putting them on my Jetta. Stay tuned for the video. In all seriousness though, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys wanna grab some entries for dog number two, click the link below and get entered. This Jeep and $10,000 could be yours. If you're the winner and you wanna get a diesel truck, you can sell them, cash money, and then go buy said diesel truck with said cash money that you basically got for the cost of a t-shirt or a hat. Boys, there's no better feeling than driving around with the windows down and a fresh set of kicks rubber on the road. Is it just me or are you guys with me and thinking like, oh wow, I wonder what everyone else thinks about my wheels now. Or maybe they just don't even really give a crap and, and i'm just kind of dancing around in my own little bubble of joy either way i like it i like it a lot dude sorry about the crazy change of scenery there it's kind of a little bit later and they picked up jack from daycare and now we got the denali back at the house with its brush forces i've been driving it around town all day and i'm so happy with the direction that we've gone historically i've owned a lot of wheels a lot of different kinds of wheels a lot of brands forged non-forged cast this that and the other but this is my first ever fully brushed set my first ever wheel with a brushed contrast was actually Dream Diesel giveaway number 13. And now the Brotherhood are reunited. Now the question is, ladies and gentlemen, would you rather the specialty forged, flat face, brushed, polished combo? Those are sick. I mean, if you pick those, I'm not even gonna be upset because I don't blame you. Or the fully brushed with CNC New Design American Force center cap wheel. I don't know. Bumble along, nice six, seven there. All right, boys, I see you. Decision's tough, but drop a comment below, boys. What do you think? It's been an absolutely long day. We got so much done. We broke the ice on hunting season season 2020 and i couldn't be any more excited honestly to get right back out in the tree tomorrow morning definitely drop your feedback below you've seen black wheels polished wheels now brush wheels on this truck what is your favorite and what would you do if it was your truck grab some entries for dog number two as that is ending november 19th winter announcement for dream diesel giveaway number 13 is coming up here between november 10th and 15th and then dream diesel giveaway number 14 is right around the corner smash that thumbs up button subscribe and tap the notification bell on your way out and i'll see you all in the next one